Yes, it's been about over a month until, uh, since I made a video, but I'm finally back. I got the energy, I got the story, and I'm ready to give you what you need. More stories about Japan. Yes, this video is actually inspired by um, two videos that I watched. One by Canada Jim and one by Ryan Boundless. They're all about how Japanese people tend to kind of ignore things around them, ignore situations. They don't get involved. If you understand the culture, the Japanese culture, Japanese individuals don't like to, they don't like conflict. They, they will try to avoid it as much as possible. Um, especially if, you know, something's going on on the train or on the bus, on the street. If they don't know, if they aren't directly involved with maybe someone in, uh, in the situation, they will not, most likely not get involved. It is debatable based on every situation. I mean, not everyone is the same. Some people will get involved with a situation that they notice on the street um, or something on the train. But in a general sense, Japanese people will typically choose to ignore a situation or not just not get involved in general. In two instances, uh, I completely forgot about these stories until recently. I noticed this. One, I remember I was on a train with my friend and we were headed to his place and whatnot, and it's about maybe 11, 12 at night, something like that. And these two, uh, a guy and a girl, come on the train. They have to be like about teen, in, their in their teens. And the guy rushes on and the girl comes behind him and she seems either like she is drunk, like wasted, or just really sick. I can't tell. I know that she was not 20, so she could not have been drinking. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. She's just wasted. And the guy is literally holding her up to make sure that she doesn't fall. And it's really awkward, um, at least for me. Because I'm seeing this girl and I'm like, wow, what is happening? And I look over to my friend and I say, hey man, tell the guy to tell her to sit on my, my bag, my luggage. Because I had a sturdy um, suitcase at that moment. And, you know, I don't want her to, uh, to, to fall or collapse. No one was giving their seat up. Everyone just kind of looks and goes back into their own business. And my friend tells the guy, he's like, oh, you know, this guy will give you, you know, the his back to sit on. Just let the girl, you know, just just tell her. And the guy says, oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And weird to me because this guy's seriously trying to hold this girl up. She's leaning on his on his on his chest, and they just, you know, they they refuse. But the thing about that is like everyone else, and this upset my friend. Everyone else in the, on the train, or at least the majority of people, saw this girl come in here and, like, who couldn't stand, even really stand, and no one did anything. No one said, are you okay? Taiju this girl. No one did anything. Everyone just kind of, oh. Another time, and which was back. a little bit more confusing to me, I remember I was standing on the train, um, I think I was on a, oh uh, yeah, Yamanote line, and I was on the train, and I'm, I think I was going to, like, Shibuya or something like that, and... I was, I was just typically thinking, wow, you know, Japan is a pretty safe place. I do things here that I would never do in New York. And, oh, yes, yeah, where I'm from. So, I'm standing on the train, and, but for some reason, I think, you know what, let me, let me be, still be a little bit more cautious. So, I move my, have my wallet in my back pocket, and I move it to my, my front pocket or something like that, um, where it's a little bit more secure. Just as I said that, or thought that, this guy, these guys come on the train, one of them walks up to this uh, Kaisha, an office worker, and the office worker has his uh, like his iPhone in his hand. He's just like, oh, 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 oh sorry, I don't have an iPhone. Watch this. Three, two, one. Well, it's not an iPhone, but you get the gist. So he has his phone in his hand, just like this, and the guy comes over to him, doesn't seem to know him, and just goes like this, and you can't see me, you can see me, good. he goes like this, and he just starts struggling, and they start struggling for the phone. I don't want this phone anymore. Ah, uh, there you go. So he just starts struggling for the uh, the phone, and I'm looking, and I'm standing directly in front of them, and it's weird. And the guys, they're saying something I couldn't understand, and everyone else sees it. And it looks like this guy, uh, this this younger guy, is trying to take this Kai Shine's phone uh, or steal it, and it's just awkward because no one's even like, "Hey, you know, stop, stop, stop." I know in in New York, individuals. Someone would probably do something. Someone would probably step in like, whoa, what are you doing? Leave this guy's phone alone. No one did anything. And they struggled for a second and then it kind of cooled down and they didn't let go. And then all of a sudden, the, the young guy grabbed the Kaishan by his like belt buckle and 
they they kind of they calmed down, but he wouldn't let go. And then the train doors open at the next station, and the young guy kind of escorted this guy off the train. And really awkwardly, I was wondering like, oh my god, what just happened? Because I couldn't understand anything. I was wonder I wanted to get involved, but I couldn't. I my Japanese was not at the level where I could explain to a police officer, hey, this is what's happening. If I got involved, if I grabbed the guy, and it became a huge situation. So, and I, I just didn't want to put myself in that position. But the thing about it, which is really interesting, is that no one else who could understand that situation, at least verbally, invo got involved. No one did anything. Everyone kind of just chilled and relaxed. They got off at the next station, the doors closed, and then you, it would, the train felt like nothing happened. Individuals who had just come on couldn't even tell that uh, someone may have just gotten robbed. Or when I was looking at it, it looked like I was like robbed or raped. It was kind of awkward for me. I don't really know. But no one got involved. Why? Because it's just it's a part of the culture to just avoid confrontation, you know. And if you're not involved with something, to just not don't get involved. You know, typically if it's a, uh, someone's lost, like a foreigner, you know, they'll, they'll Japanese will, you know, help, lend a helping hand if, if asked, you know. But to just step in and be involved and be that, be proactive in that, um, aspect Japanese people tend not to do so um, well okay, this is all general doesn't mean every Japanese person will do it um, or won't be involved but some on a general scale it, it won't happen so it's kind of sad but you know it, it does happen um, in this case so anyways that's my two stories I still never know I uh, never never learned if that guy was raped or just got robbed or something but uh, I hope he's hope he's his, his bottom is okay right now. I don't know.